Hello, guys. Today we will explain the story of the Joker movie. Spoilers in this video. So if you don't watch the movie, stop watching the video. 2019 American psychological thriller film directed by Todd Phillips, who co-wrote the screenplay with Scott Silver. The film, based on DC Comics characters, stars Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. An origin story set in 1981, the film depicts the Joker as a failed stand-up comedian who turns to a life of crime and chaos in Gotham City. Robert De Niro, Zazie Beetz, and Francis Conroy appear in supporting roles. Joker was produced by DC Films, Village Roadshow, Pictures, Braun Creative, and Joint Effort, and distributed by Warner Bros. Phillips conceived Joker in 2016, and wrote the script with Silver throughout 2017 The two were inspired by 1970s character, studies and the films of Martin Scorsese, who was initially attached to the project as a producer. Novel Batman, The Killing Joke 1988 was the basis for the premise, but Phillips and Silver otherwise did not look to specific comics for inspiration. Phoenix became attached in February 2018, and was cast at July, while the majority of the cast had signed on by August. Photography lasted from September to December 2018, and took place in New York City, Jersey, City, and New York. First live action, Batman film to receive an R rating from the Motion Picture Association of America, due to its violent and disturbing content. Premiered at the 76th Venice International Film Festival on August 31, 2019, where it won the Golden Lion, the festival's highest prize. It is scheduled to be theatrically released in the United States on October 4, 2019. The film polarized critics, while Phoenix's performance was praised. The dark tone, portrayal of mental illness, and handling of violence was met with a divisive response. Also generated concerns of inspiring real-world violence, with the Aurora, Colorado movie theater where a 2012 mass shooting occurred, during a screening of The Dark Knight Rises refusing to show the film. 1981 in a Gotham City, increasingly prey to degradation and social inequality, Arthur Fleck is a sensitive and profoundly alienated individual, who lives with his elderly couched mother in a slum apartment, in addition to a perennial depression, he suffers from a rare disorder that forces him to sudden and uncontrollable attacks of laughter, his dream would be to become a stand-up. His TV idol, Murray Franklin, but the lack of a normal sense of humor makes him earn a living as a clown for now. Her squalid routine is relieved only by the fleeting visions of Sophie, the neighbor of whom she fell in love in an unhealthy way after she gave him a kind word on one occasion. Meanwhile, billionaire Thomas Wayne is running for mayor of Gotham, announcing he must cut funds for social assistance programs such as the psychologist who followed Arthur to focus them in his election campaign that will guarantee the safety of the city. If Arthur suffers a beating by thugs, having heard of the mishap, his colleague Randall lends him a gun to defend himself, but this falls out of Arthur's pocket during a clown's shift at the pediatric hospital. Randall denies everything, causing him to be fired. That night, as he returns home on the subway still made up as a clown, Arthur is violently targeted by a group of young yuppies due to his particular condition, but this time he pulls out his gun, and kills them. The identikit of the murderer, combined with the fact that the victims were Wayne's pupils and that he had defined those who were demonstrating against his cuts as the clowns a few days earlier, means that more and more people among the social class most disadvantaged commit criminal acts masked as clowns. In honor of the mysterious clown executioner, this gives Arthur the confidence to declare himself to Sophie, with whom he begins a relationship, and to make his first audition as a stand-up comedian. One day, opening one of the many letters returned to the sender that his mother continually writes to Wayne, Arthur discovers that the latter is the father he never met because of an illicit relationship with his mother, who worked for him as a secretary in the 50s. Removed from Villa Wayne by Alfred, and euphoric, Arthur for the news still manages to infiltrate from Wayne to ask him for explanations, but this insists that the woman is just a mad obsessed by him, and gets to beat him to drive him away, dejected, Arthur assists Franklin mocking his live TV audition. At Arkham Asylum, he discovers from a psychological report that Wayne was right, his mother suffers from a serious narcissistic personality disorder, and let his man abuse his child several times, an event that traumatized him forever, causing his laugh. Back home, he realizes he suffers from the same mental illness of his mother, having hallucinated every moment with Sophie, for whom he is a complete stranger. 
Now crazy and with nothing left to lose, Arthur kills his mother and Randall, wearing a new clown makeup called Joker. He accepts the Murray Franklin Show's proposal to appear as a guest star of an episode the same day as the biggest show of the anti-Wayne clown, intent on killing himself live to make sense of his life, however. The situation transcends and Arthur, after revealing himself to be the underground killer, accuses Franklin, Wayne and the Gothamidi as they are responsible for what has become, and then kill Franklin Liv. Nights the crowd, which sets the city on fire, and lynching all the rich people who come within sight. In an alley, Wayne and his wife are killed in front of little Bruce. The riot is broken, but Arthur, who was locked up in the Arkham Asylum after a police chase, is finally serene, having managed to find an audience to perform. 4. In contrast to modern comic book films, Joker is intended to be a standalone film with no planned sequels. While Phillips said in August 2019 that he would be interested in making a sequel, depending on the film's performance and if Phoenix is interested, he later clarified that the movie's not set up to have a sequel. Pitched it as one movie, and that's it Warner Bros. Intends for Joker to launch DC Black, a line of DC Comics-based films unrelated to the Dichu with darker, more experimental material, similar to comic imprints, such as Elseworlds. Enjoy this video, please like, comment and share.